Hello and welcome to True Guidance Tarot. I'm Adriana Teodoro Dyer. I'm a spiritual medium and intuitive reader, your guide to a clearer perspective. I have a message for Aquarius today. This is a channel guided message from the other side, from spirit, from my guides to help you um, and to benefit you as you navigate your spiritual journey this week. If you have not been here before, a welcome, and I encourage you to consider subscribing so we can keep this channel growing and um, keep this positive energy going. So let's start with your first card, Aquarius. This is the energy that the universe is confronting you with this week. We have the lovers, and this is so funny because um, this card has come up a bit today. So the lovers, I do feel like with this in your reading, we are actually talking about love, the coming together of two opposites, the ability to embrace something that is not you, but at the same time is you. <laughs> like it's, it's kind of esoteric. But love is that force that allows us to overcome separation, to overcome boundaries, and to be able to see the sameness in things that aren't the same. So literally, you know, you can think of men and women as being different, right? Different, different beings, different wirings, just different things. But when they unify, you see that beyond the differences, they are actually tied together by a force called love. So love is that binding force. And what I feel this is saying to you this week is that you are to look at unity more than you are to look at differences. So rather than trying to separate things out, it's really looking at drawing things together within yourself as possibly as well as with, with other people. But instead of trying to gain distance and trying to gain separation, be looking for, okay, but how are we similar? How is this the same? How are we alike? those kind of questions. So we have, <laughs> very interesting, we've got you being the princess of cups here. So this is your energy this week. And what is cups? Emotion, heart. And this is, she's a lovely red color with that, with that great cloak swir swirling and, and um, what's the word, sweeping around her. So this is interesting because this is the heart beginning to stir the heart beginning to move. And so when the heart moves, the heart is moving to open. The heart is moving to expand and the heart is moving to embrace. You see she's embracing or holding that cup right up here. It's maybe a little difficult to see because all the colors are <laughs> the same, but, <laughs> but you see how she's beginning to embrace that. And so, when you're able to embrace those separations and dis distances, differences, when you're overcoming that with love in your external world, it actually opens up a pathway into your internal world where you're able to embrace, heal, and accept anything that has not been allowed to integrate back into you. So I feel like life happens sometimes and things are cut away and our challenge then is to refold them back in, to heal it over, to heal that cut skin back over. And this energy right now is trying to open up and allow you to really take it in, to take that healing back in and to take that embracing back in so that you're no longer seeing the different parts of yourself as fragmented or separated. You're actually seeing them as again, still part of the whole. You may understand them to be different, like your eyes are different than your liver is different than your lungs is different than your left toe, but it's all part of the same one thing. It's all part of the same person, all part of the same being. And same idea here. We as individuals are still part of one big source, one big source of love. So let's keep going because I'm interested to see where, where they're taking us. We've got the Seven of Swords. We've got the strength, and then we have the six of cups. Okay, so exactly where, where, okay, <laughs> let me just talk. So we're trying to figure out the past. You're trying to make sense of a hurt or a guilt 
that occurred in the past. Not being able to stand up or be there as you feel you should have been able to be. It's like you, uh, there was a, it's like you let someone down or let something down. You just weren't as strong as you knew you could have been or you thought you could have been. And the Seven of Swords here is trying to figure it out. It's really trying to get to the bottom of it. And as I'm talking to you, I'm blending the energies of these two cards, the Strength and the Six of Cups here. Looking back at a situation where you were not so strong, either for yourself or for someone else, your internal healing <laughs> guide, <laughs> it's like a thermostat. It tells you where you need to be looking. <laughs> It's just something I'm making up right now. Um, your internal healing guide is pointing you to that moment in time. Um, and this may be something you visited before. I don't feel like this is a fresh thing or this is an uh, like a new thing. This is maybe like an old pattern or an old issue, an old memory that you visited before. But the idea is that your capacity to embrace and accept and love is higher than it has been in the past. And your guides are asking you to use this energy on yourself as well. Like this is the moment to try it, to try it, to do it. In the past, when you've tried to heal this wound, it's like the skin hasn't been able to close all the way. It's dried up and it's healed, it's not infected but it's just not completely closed, or you might still see a scab, or you still might see a scar, and that's because the self-healing medicine was not strong enough. But this time, it's saying, okay, you've got stronger medicine now, you have that stronger capacity to love. Let's look back at this situation and see if you can embrace both sides. Both the person, whether it was yourself or someone else, who was hurt, and the person who did the hurting, which in a sense was you because either you didn't, you didn't stand up for either person. So it's looking back and embracing both of those things because without that lesson, you would not have the strength you have today. You wouldn't have the conviction you have today. Without that test, you weren't allowed to become stronger. But not healing the two sides, not embracing Every, all of that as part of your healing, part of your experience, really does keep you from standing up in the full capacity of your strength. So you've got more strength available to you. And now is the time and now you're ready for that integrated whole that can finally come back together and not be, um, not be separated. So, um, yeah, really interesting stuff for you, Aquarius, but I'm very excited because it does seem like this is really helping you um, or really giving you the encouragement to keep moving forward in the way that you are. So if you would like to leave me a comment, you know, I always love to hear from you. And um, I invite you to consider sharing this channel with um, friends or people you might, you know, that are interested in spiritual growth or astrology or tarot, whatever. Um, I do readings for all 12 signs every week. If you don't see a particular sign up, it's coming. Just check back in a few hours. And I will look forward to seeing you next week.